Woodward Squat, on ceded Coast Salish Territory, northeast corner of Hastings and Abbott, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. The people here are the people in this area. We, we're taking care of this place. We're not ruining it. And uh, we want more people to be here. And we, we also invite the Coast Salish people whose land we're on to come here in solidarity with us. Woodward's was already owned and owned by the people that was given to the people by the last government and uh, this government took it away and we're taking it back. We are saying that we will not allow this to be anything but social housing. We're a group of people from the community and from just outside of the community who are affected by this government's cuts, who are affected by the lack of access to social housing, by the freeze that the Liberals placed upon social housing, and people who are not comfortable sitting back and taking it or politely asking for change, but people who are willing to seize an empty building and demand change. People who are willing to seize an empty building and create the resources that we need to survive. And this is more than just a squad for homelessness and everything else. It has to do with the, 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 whole, the whole marginalized peoples that are out there. And the, the, our largest our largest factor in that is is the Aboriginal community down here, the, the off re reserve uh, community, Aboriginal people. We don't get equal representation anywhere when it comes to our federal government. For our federal government, they don't represent us. Our provincial government, even the municipal government, they like to sweep us under the carpet. Here in Vancouver, it is the most profound. and banners, the homeless, the poor, Aboriginal rights and social justice activists have squatted Woodwards since September the 14th, the active continuation of a decade-long campaign to build social housing on site. Outside in the street, media briefings, inside on the second floor, a festive atmosphere as squatters make a home. We need to really address that this place has been here for 10 years and all these other empty buildings have been here for 10 years and, and then some and nobody's addressing the problem. They, they, they sooner see the people put on the street rather than to house them. It's that community is here. Community is upstairs. We apologize for you guys when it takes us a while to come down here and make our statements. But that's because community is happening up there. That's because we sit together and we make sure that we agree on what's happening and everybody's heard. I wish the provincial government would understand that. We're taking this building to fight back. We're taking this building as part of a movement that will fight against this government and defeat this government. It's important that people come down and support this building, support this squat, because the police have issued an injunction and they will move on this injunction at an undisclosed time. But the more people we have, the more power we have in maintaining this building and building the movement towards real change. We have a banner saying, Oh Canada, our home and native land. So that's what uh, we really want to say is that uh, we want justice for everybody. What we want is this to be like mostly social housing for the people in this area. Um, I'd like to quote the Canadian anthem, Oh Canada, our home and native land, this is ours. So uh, that's why the people are occupying this building and uh, we're in solidarity with the Aboriginal peoples whose land has been stolen. The sounds and sight of a successful squat have drawn the legal attention of the Provincial Rental Housing Commission, a British Columbia Supreme Court injunction alleging trespass. Outside, squatters, supporters, onlookers, and media guess when the injunction will be enforced. Inside, the squatters discuss and continue preparations for the long term. Inside or outside, the squatters say they will not be moved 
and if forcefully evicted, they will return. We took a vote and we came out unanimously that we will be here as long as we have to be here. We are sad that the government has put us in a position where many of the people in this building who are homeless have to vote to go to jail rather than into the alleys at night. How long is it going to take? How many more people are going to have to die before they create social housing? Some say the squatters are trespassers and thus criminals. Others say the homeless, the poor, and peaceful Aboriginal rights and social justice activists often have no other recourse to continue their struggle. Nonviolent civil disobedience and direct action are tactics that have worked. Homeless and poor, the squatters argue they are trying to make a change. History has shown a small dedicated group can be a catalyst for social movements. Will this be the case at Woodward's? In Vancouver, I'm Sid Chow Tan.